My name is Samuel Nderitu, a food activist and a food campaigner. I advocate for fair food, clean food, healthy and affordable food. I want to talk about the black soldier flies, which are very important to the smallholder farmers who are rearing either fish or livestock or even pigs because this larva is feeds to the livestock. The life cycle of uh, black soldier flies is as follows. After laying the eggs, the eggs will hatch into lava. And this lava is the stage where um, in the whole cycle, this is the only stage that feeds. And they feed on the waste materials that comes from our farms, either from our kitchen or from the crops that we grow. And so you just feed them on that and they consume and they grow into a stage where they can be fed and they contain a lot of proteins that can feed your livestock throughout even without feeding them with any other feeds so we want to bring down or cut the cost of production by feeding our poultry and especially the indigenous poultry with this lava and this is pure proteins instead of you going to the shops to buy proteins that you don't know where they're coming from and this is an organic farm then you rear your own um, black soldier flies and they'll give you the feeds that you want we feed them with organic products as you can see around here anything that uh, can decompose can become food to the to the black soldier flies and you can as you can see here they have started they have hatched and uh, this now will grow into mature lava. They'll grow into mature lava and they'll become like this. The adult fly lays eggs either in um, waste foods from our kitchens. So they like laying eggs where there are foods that are fermenting. And so uh, they either come and lay the eggs inside there or they can lay eggs on these pipes as you can see around it has some grooves that's where they like laying their eggs and anything that is fermenting if you don't have uh, waste uh, food food waste from the kitchen then again you can ferment rice husks or wheat bran or anything uh, that can be able to ferment like this and then they'll be able to lay eggs inside or inside this pipe but they there must be something that is fermenting the black soldier flies undergoes several stages and Stage number one is where the mature black soldier fly will be able to lay eggs. And one mature uh, black soldier fly uh, uh, lays between 500 and 1,500 eggs. So, and, and then after that, the eggs will hatch into lava. And then after that, this lava will turn into another stage, which is now the, the pupa stage which turns color, as you can see here, some are starting to turn color from creamish or goldish color to black. And, and then after this color, now this stage, they become dormant, they don't feed, they just stay like that. And then that stage, after they have become pupa stage, you now put them in a cage like this. And you put them in the cage, so that when they become adults, they will not fly away. So you put them in a cage where um, you can be able to see them. It is transparent or translucent, like this one here. And probably it can be a shed net or something like that. You can see we have two different types of shed nets, this one and this other one here. And because we are small scale, we, we don't have a lot of um, poultry, but we, we will be able to grow as we go along. I want to show you how this is kept. This is the pupa stage, which is dormant. And these ones don't eat, they don't feed on anything. And then they'll convert now into adults. So all these should be put inside a cage. And then they'll convert into the adults, as you can see inside. And the, the, the adult is a bit longer 
it resembles a wasp it's a bit longer it's about 0. Point something um, inches long and and the the, the lover the the adult doesn't eat doesn't um, have a, a, a developed mouth therefore it doesn't eat anything and their diet is only water their diet is only water so you have to put water inside the cage and probably you can use a cotton wool dump in the cotton wool and then you put it inside the cage or you can use um, a sponge something or a mattress make it damp with water and then you put it inside there they don't eat anything just water and therefore they don't transmit diseases they they are, they are not active they don't fly a lot they just dormant and their work is only to lay eggs and then after about five to eight days they die the whole cycle of um, the black soldier fly is about 40 days or more about 40 something days that is from laying of eggs until the adult dies and therefore that is what we are introducing to the smallholder farmers so that we substitute um, livestock feeds from feeding a livestock with the cereals to feeding a livestock with lava from black soldier flies.